Well, it's the day after Thanksgiving and I finally got my camera working. It was giving me so much trouble and it's working, so I'm gonna run with it. I haven't made a video in a while. I figured it's time and I wanna do something positive. So let's talk about my favorite looks from November. It's probable that I'm gonna forget a few, so don't get butt hurt if I do. This is gonna be a long video, so let's just jump right in. In no particular order, we recently got a photo shoot of Bella Hadid for something called, I believe, Chow 69. Not really sure what that is, but I believe it was shot by Nadia Lee Cohn, and she gave us this gorgeous photo series of Bella Hadid in, I believe, Chanel. It's rare that you see Chanel styled interestingly nowadays, but I think it's still its best when it's the classic Chanel vibes, I guess. And I think that this is the epitome of that with the tweed like coat and in this beautiful classic white color with gold detailing, the Chanel belt. It's just really beautiful. I'm obsessed with her hair here. I think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The minimal makeup, this feels very cool Chanel and we don't get that often. So I was very excited to see this. It's really beautiful. Madeline Klein wearing Alexander Vautier. She looks amazing. She honestly has looked amazing this entire month. And she is styled by Mimi Coutrell. I've talked about this before, but I think that they do the most amazing work together because Madeline Klein dresses like an A-list star and I don't think she's fully there yet. Like, yeah, she's in Knives Out too. She's been in Outer Banks, but like for the looks that she pulls with her stylist, these are some like A-list looks. And I think they're really helping to elevate her entire career. I mean, I think it's like keeps her on people's minds, keeps her being talked about, keeps her on best dress lists, lists at events with other A-listers. And I just think it helps her out. And I think this is an example of that. I think this color is really unique. I love the monochrome look with the boots. I think the hair works here almost as an accessory. She looks really beautiful. I also used to live right next door to this hotel. So um, that's also crazy. I like the Sophia Richie look. There's not a whole lot going on, but I always have liked Sophia Richie's style and I feel like it's progressed with her. And I think this is an example of that, kind of her more mature, sophisticated era and this is just a really chic, sophisticated look. This Anna Delvey look is kind of hilarious to me. I kind of love it just because of the details. I did talk about this on my TikTok, but um, like, I mean, if I saw someone on the street wearing it, I don't think it would be a show-stopping look, but for her, it's funny because the boot are, I love this style of boot also, I always have, but the one unzipped for the ankle monitor I think is kind of amazing. The camo coat is just, you know, I love a camo, I love a huge coat and this is that, is kind of falling off her shoulder to expose this t-shirt that has a photo of her face on it, which I think is great. I think it would have been great if she wore the sunglasses from this photo instead of these sunglasses, but I also think these sunglasses are kind of funny. Um, they feel a little dated, but she has been locked up, so <laughs> it's not shocking that she has some dated pieces. The Wall Street Journal, she's holding it like it's an accessory, so I'm considering it an accessory, and I think it's funny just considering her and her background that she's using the Wall Street Journal as an accessory. And then the blowout is very just, it's perfect looking, it's great, and then Last but not least, the A emblem on her neckline, which is feels like a direct reference of the Scarlet Letter, um, but also her name is Anna. So um, I love that. I have a bunch of Jenna Ortega looks. Obviously, she's been actively promoting Wednesday, so she had a lot of really great looks this month, and this is one of them. I love this. It's just a really chic, perfectly fitted suit, which I love for her. And I love that all the looks I'm gonna talk about, all her looks from this month and previous ones that are kind of related to Wednesday, 
have really felt like something Wednesday Adams would wear. The tie is like a black lace, which seems to be a theme throughout all of these Wednesday promotional looks, which I like because it feels very Wednesday Adams. The bag is nice structured to go along with the structured look. The only thing I don't love is the lining of the jacket, but that's not really something we would be seeing if it weren't Wendy, so that's fine. I love it. I think the hair is really cute. She just looks so cute promoting the show, and it made me want to watch the show. And again, I think that's an example of how powerful good styling is can make you really want to watch a show that I otherwise probably honestly wouldn't have even known about. I honestly didn't even really know who Jenna Ortega was until I started seeing these really great cute looks from her. Next look is Kendall Jenner wearing Bottega. She's leaving a forward photo shoot. So yeah, she's not like out and about on the street. This was a controversial post on my TikTok. I love this look. I don't even care. It's straight from the runway. And I know people are shocked about the no pants thing, but in my, like normal tights don't look like this. Like it's not like she threw on a pair of like tights from CVS and went outside. It's I don't know what tights y'all are buying that look like this that are this opaque at the top. Normal tights are very sheer still at the top. Like you would fully be able to see her underwear. And I'm thinking that these Bottega tights are, you know, they have this opaqueness at the top that allows you to kind of wear them as pants. And I, I mean, I would wear them. I think they're cool. I always honestly, whenever I'm wearing tights, I feel really like good in them. I feel... Even when I take them off, I'm like, I feel like cute in these tights. Like I feel like they're really flattering. And I think that this shows that. It makes your legs look miles long with the plain black kind of court shoe. It feels very Kendall, kind of has this vintage feel with those shoes. I think the sweater is navy blue. This kind of, you know, I've never been a mixing of navy blue and black person, but this is kind of changing my mind on that. Uh, which doesn't happen many times. And the sweater feels very her. She, this outfit feels very her. She has very simple style, but it's always chic. It always looks good on her. I think that this is an example of that. The bag is the star. I mean, I'm obsessed with this bag. I love a Bottega bag. I love basically all of them. And I this one, I just adore. It's this gorgeous like gold chunky handle it's kind of unpractical because you just probably have to hold it like that or like maybe on your wrist but it's it's beautiful elsa hosk i love this this is i believe a coat from her line called house studio that they sell on revolve and forward i think i love this coat she said she designed it so you could wear it as a dress like she is here or a coat i think that cinch waist really differentiates it from every other black coat ever made um because it just looks really structured really pretty it gives you a waist just the little patent ysl bag is cute the shoes are very cute i love a tight black shoe the crazy sunglasses which look like balenciaga are nice as well i think they give this more of like a i don't know kind of fashiony vibe Emily Rada out in New York wearing Versace. I don't know where she was going in this look, but I'm, I love it. It's amazing. I love her and Versace in general. This top is great with the big gold Versace emblem along the waist as a belt. Um, I believe that's just part of the top, but it's really nice. The earrings to match are really nice. The bag is cute and I don't usually love a Versace bag, but this cute little one brings out the gold in the top, a plain black skirt. Um, and then a big black boot. I think this is just a really nice look. I think it looks really good on her. It's so chic. It's so cute. Emma Chamberlain wearing Lueve. This is great. I love this. Even her man's looks good. I like his outfit too. This little button down and the shorts with loafers and socks. I think that's really cute. But I love hers. I love the matching lipstick with the dress. The dress looks like it's in movement here um but the amazing thing about it is that even if she were standing still it would still have the same shape on the bottom that looks like it's moving and twirling um it's not it's just the way the dress was like constructed which i think is really cool i love it margot wearing bottega this is great i really 
have been appreciating Margot wearing Bottega this month and switching from Chanel. She still has been wearing Chanel recently, so I don't think we're fully out of that yet, unfortunately, but her Bottega looks have been perfect for her. And they're so refreshing to see, and this is great because it looks so simple. It looks like a white shirt and jeans, but if I'm not mistaken, the jeans are actually leather. So it's a leather pant, but it looks exactly like jeans, which is insane. Um, but it's crazy. Like just, it looks like jeans, but I love the style of Bottega cassette. It's the texture just looks so cool. I've never seen this in person, but I really want to. I want to touch it because it looks like a really cool texture and I'm kind of obsessed with it in the classic Bottega kind of green shade. Jenna Ortega again wearing Dion Lee. I've talked about this look so many times, I feel like, but it's amazing. And it was definitely one of my favorites this month. I think her updo is really cute. The red lip is so cute and makes this super folly. I love the dress with the cutouts. I think it's really flattering. The lace, it almost looks like she's wearing like a lace cat suit under the dress, but it's all one. I love the arm sleeve things that go over her hands. I think that's so cute. I want this dress. I'm obsessed with it. It's nice to see Dion Lee. I feel like we don't see it that often. That's a brand I really love. And I think these shoes are amazing. All right, obviously Taylor Russell and Scaparelli. This was amazing. This dress is amazing. It has this like crazy artistic, almost looks like wire or something over the heart. Um, and this cutout corset is just so cool. It fits her so well. Red looks amazing on her. It's like art. It's truly so pretty. And I thought it was so pretty in the shot. She has been absolutely killing it. I feel like we'll see a couple of her looks in this video, but this was obviously one of the best of November. Also, one of the obvious winners was Kylie Jenner at the Brooklyn Museum wearing Mugler. It's just a really great look. She wore a variety of different Mugler pieces for this look. I believe the, like the dress was from a completely separate collection as the crown, but I love them paired together. It's just so cool. Like it's so futuristic. The crown is almost giving alien or something, um, but it's so, it's just so pretty. Like it's so artistic and it has these really pretty jewels hanging down and she really looks like a Mugler queen. And then the dress just fits her obviously so amazingly well. Her body type is like made for Mugler, I feel like. So, um, I mean, it's just great. It fits her so well. She could barely walk in it, but I, I, I love the, the effort she'll put in to pull a look. And um, couture, I don't think is like meant to be super practical. So it's not, it doesn't bother me that she couldn't really walk in it. I love it. All right, Anya Taylor-Joy. I think that this red is just the prettiest color I've ever seen on her. And I hope we see more of it, especially as the holidays are approaching. And I love this look. I love the different textures, the patent leather trench mixed with this like lacy dress. I think it's just really, really nice. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I love that coat a lot and I just love the color on her and that's kind of selling it for me, but she looks really good. She has been looking really good. She always looked really good. I love that. Oh, another Emily Rada look that I loved was this one. I think it's just really classic, little khaki skirt, belt, well-fitted black, bodysuit, well-fitted brown leather jacket. We're mixing a bunch of different neutral tones here. It's screaming fall, the Christian Dior saddlebag, the boots. Again, I think this is a, an outfit that a lot of people can replicate with pieces in their closet. And it's just a perfect fall street style outfit, in my opinion. I think she, it looks really good on her. I love it. You can't really go wrong with mixed neutrals. I love this Kendall Jenner coat. I actually, I forget who it's by, but I I think I put it in my Selena Gomez styling video um, like two days before Kendall Jenner was wearing it, which was crazy. Great minds think alike. I love this coat. I think it's so fun. And I feel like Kendall is really in her fun fall coat era. She's been rocking a couple. This is my favorite. I honestly wouldn't have thought her to wear it because she's usually more understated. I feel like more neutrals 
in her fashion choices, but I think it looks amazing on her. And she's so tall that this sort of crazy coat doesn't overwhelm her. She found the perfect boot to match that kind of like maroon brown shade of the coat. You can just wear literally leggings. It looks like she's wearing underneath it because the coat is so loud. The coat can be the entire outfit. I love coats like that. She looks great. Kylie in New York. She really was, you know, queen of November low key. Her Taylor Russell and Jenna Ortega, I feel like, were the three and kind of Emily Rod, I guess, that really ate up November. She was in New York as well. And I love this look. Again, it's simple, but I love the way it fits her. The layering here is nice. I like the kind of sexy cardigan, the way it's buttoned, I think looks amazing with the chunky gold jewelry. Uh, I remember that was like, I feel like such a Kardashian thing was this like chunky gold jewelry. I think that Kanye was doing jewelry at the time and this kind of reminds me of that. And I feel like we haven't seen it in a while and I love it here. I love this cardigan. I think that it's just so cool. The button area being so wide, I think is really nice. Um, it looks like she layered a fuzzy cardigan on top of that. Obviously it's probably quite chilly in New York. And then this great oversized trench coat is really nice too. Taylor Russell in Scaparelli. Um, this was for the governor's awards. I love this. It's a really simple dress. I think that the back was super low cut and really, really pretty but it fits her really well. And then the focus is obviously these crazy Scaparelli earrings, which are amazing. Um, I don't know how like they work cause they look like they would be 20 pounds, but um, they must be like wrapped around her whole ear or something. I have no idea, but with the hair, I think that it's just really pretty. And I love these eye earrings. I think they're so fun and they're huge. So it works that they're the focus of the look and that the rest of the look is very simple. I love this Bella Hadid photo shoot. It's by Emma Summerton for the Pirelli 2023 calendar. It's such a good shoot. This is probably my favorite shoot that I saw this month. I couldn't really talk about it on TikTok cause she's quite exposed, but it's creepy. It's weird. She's like this dark fairy. I don't even know, but it's amazing. This is why I like love modeling because these photos are so creepy that they're kind of like scary, but she also looks, what just happened? She also looks really pretty um, still and it's just really nice. I love this photo shoot so much. All right, next is Kris Jenner for Vogue Czechoslovakia, I believe. So random, but I love this this look. Her, I think she's wearing bad bench. Well, my camera light died, so we're going off this shittier lighting for the rest of the video, but we're almost there. There's a lot of looks this month that I really love. So yeah, this, this look was amazing. I love this for Chris. It was so unexpected. It's giving Ursula, but it's just really great. Like I adore it. Bretman Rock. I think this was at the GQ like men's awards or something. And I adore this. He looks so good. It's Vivian Westwood styled by Brian Meller per usual. Vintage Vivian Westwood from Aralda Vintage. I love this. It's just great. It's just like, it's a really interesting take on like a suit, this crazy pleated skirt with this matching vest. I love the layering of the like tank top button down and tie with these pieces. Like I, I love everything about this. I think he looks absolutely amazing and I'm obsessed. This was a great look. This was a definite winner of November. I loved it. Oh, Anita is another one that definitely won November a lot. Uh, this looks in particular is from the AMAs. She's wearing vintage Gucci from Tab Vintage styled by Ronnie Hart. I love this. It's like, just like a velvet cat suit that looks fantastic on her. I love it with the long hair, really simple look, but it's amazing because of this vintage goose, Gucci, like horse bit belt. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's just so simple, but I love that belt so much. She also looked amazing at the AMAs wearing vintage Issey Miyake from Pechuga Vintage. This plastic, I believe corset 
is just amazing. It's so cool. It's structured. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's great. I love it with the accessories. I love it with the hair. I love it with the skirt. It's definitely the star of the show. It's great. I adore it. Oh, she looks so good at the AMAs. We have Laura Harrier at the GQ Men of the Year Award, same event that Bretman Rock was at, styled by Danielle Goldberg. She is wearing a Laya. We finally got her in a non YSL look. And it's still a win. She always looks amazing. This is no exception. I love this so, so much. Um, it's simple, but it's just really nice. I love it. It's just this cute little short skirt. That's the star of the show. I like the shoes a lot too. I like the updo, but it's really that skirt that I think is, it's just really cute. And I think it looks good. Then we have Anita once again at the Grammy, the Latin Grammys. I love this Minot dress. I love a bow and I love this bow on top of the sheer kind of mesh skirt portion. I think it's really great. I love everything about this look. Again, the silver accessories, that's must be kind of her thing, but I think we could have done a different accessory. I think the bracelets are a little harsh for the look. But overall, I'm not mad about it. I love it. She looks amazing. Then we have, once again, Jenna Ortega at the Wednesday premiere wearing Versace. I love this. Everything about it is amazing. The dress is perfect. She wore like a veil as like a bride. It's just so good. The black lace we see again. The only thing about it that I said on TikTok too is that it's so wrinkled. And I think that's how it's supposed to be because it was like that on the runway too. And I really don't understand that. But she was very stoic on the carpet, which I thought was great for Wednesday. Um, the makeup is amazing. The kind of really uh, emphasized uh, bottom eyeliner is great. The shoes, I love Versace platform. So I love this, this is really good. Another Madeline Klein look, she's wearing Versace. The only thing I don't like about this is the shoes. The shoes are like ruining the experience for me and I honestly didn't notice them until now. I think we could have done a way better shoe here, like a gold. And this nude shoe is just like so ruining the vibe, but I don't care. The dress is so beautiful. It looks amazing on her. The color looks amazing on her. It's just such a pretty dress. The lace, the, the mint green with the gold, it's stunning. This was a really good red carpet look. Once again, amazing from her stylist, Mimi Coutrell. They are just a dream team. And I love that look. Lindsay Lohan styled by Law Roach, which I love. I love that she came back in full force with Law Roach as her stylist. That's so genius of her. And she's wearing Versace here and I love that. I think it looks great on her. It's kind of like a dress, leather dress with a built-in corset. It's really nice. It's really nice and I think it looks amazing on her. Addison Ray at the CFDA Awards wearing vintage Gareth Pugh. I've talked about this already. This was just amazing. I mean, it was just a perfect look. It's different. She's proving herself in the fashion space. It doesn't need a lot of accessories. She literally didn't have any. I think the hair was great with it. I love this and I love this for her because she deserves it. She really has been like putting in the work. I don't know who her stylist is right now, but maybe herself. And if that's the case, that's pretty insane. Another Kylie Jenner look at the CFDA awards as well, wearing Mugler. This was amazing. It was just preparing us for her appearance at the Brooklyn Museum. But this is another amazing vintage Mugler look with the one sleeve, the sheer bodysuit. The hair was great. I think that on the runway, this had like a crazy headpiece that she opted out of wearing, which I'm not mad about because the hair kind of is dramatic. The skirt, I love this whole thing. This was so good. Lupita Nyong'o wearing Vivian Westwood. This was gorgeous. Like every photo that came out of this look was amazing the way it fit her. Just the makeup like was so glowy and golden and went so perfectly with this dress. Everything about it, I was obsessed. I still am. This is one of the most beautiful looks this month, hands down. It's I, don't, I can't even pick a winner out of all these looks, but this is up there. Addison Rae, also at the LACMAs. 
This was really nice. She's wearing vintage Jean-Louis de Chirer. Again, I don't know who the stylist is, but this dress is amazing. It's so like 90s pop star or something. It's kind of given like Britney with this low cut front or like J-Lo, but it's so good with this necklace. Oh, she looks amazing. The minimal makeup with this look and the other look I think works that like, you know, loose waves, very effortless with this really intense, beautiful dress. She low key won the red carpet at this event, which is insane and even more insane if she doesn't have a stylist, but kudos to her. I, I'm so happy for her. At the AFI Film Festival, we have Taylor Russell wearing Lueve. This is so good. I love this dress on the on the runway. I love it in the yellow color. I love it on her on the carpet. I think it's just so pretty and I love her hair. It's like a bow. Her hair looks like a bow and then we have this big bow. I love bows, clearly. The cutouts, I love everything about this. It's great. Then we have Letitia Wright wearing custom Prada at the Black Panther Wakanda Forever premiere. This was also amazing. There's so many good looks this month, it's crazy. This was just so pretty, so simple, just gorgeous. Like she looks so good in it. I adored this look. Another look from this carpet that I adored was Jordan Dunn wearing standing ground. This color on her is just everything. The way it was styled with her hair and the earrings and then the bracelets I thought was just beautiful. I so preferred it on her over the runway. I thought it was just so good. I love this look. This was like her and Letitia's were stand out to me on that carpet. And I don't think Jordan Dunn was even in the movie. So good for her. Last look, Harry Styles wearing Gucci at the My Policeman premiere. I felt like this was a mature look from Harry, which we don't usually get. Honestly, a lot of his looks give little boy energy, which is sad because he used to be a St. Laurent man and he used to wear like only chic, mature, black, neutral colored looks. And I don't know where that went. I miss that energy, but I thought this was really nice. I love the Gucci like logo belt. It's very subtle, but I feel like it's there. And I think the suit feels nice. It kind of gives uniform, which works for the movie. And it fits in really well. Those are all the looks. That was long. I'm gonna have to cut this down a lot, but um, thanks for watching. And I'm super excited for December, especially with the holidays coming up. I feel like we'll get a lot of great looks around the holidays. So I'll see you next time.